Hello again everyone, welcome back to Undertale. We're wandering around in Hotland, I think it was called. And we're, ooh, we're in a laboratory. Uh, that's me. It's you. <laughs> Why am I on the TV screen? What's all this? It's too dark to see them near the walls. Oh, okay. Uh, still too dark. How do I turn the lights on? Uh, oh. Hello. How are you? Uh, oh, oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up here so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy. And? And? Um, uh, hi hiya! I, I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, 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 uh, I, I'm not one of those, uh, the bad guys. Actually, since, since you stepped out of ruins, I've, uh, uh, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but... Watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. <laughs> so, uh, now I, I, I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I, I know a right way to Asgore's castle, no problem. Um, well, actually, um, uh, this is a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Um, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. A anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. No, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti anti human combat features. But of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a first, the first, the human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully, we won't run into him. Yes, I'd hope not. <laughs> I don't want to deal with a killing machine. Uh, uh, did, did you hear something? Uh, no. No, I don't hear anything. What's go? What are you talking about, uh, Alphys? Oh no! Oh yeah! Welcome, beauties. Da 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 da. <laughs> it's a scare robot. <laughs> but today's quiz show. Do 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 do. Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Yay! Everyone give me a hand. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. <gasps> or you die. No, I don't want to die. Matadon attacks! Um... Well, let's, uh... Cry. I wanna cry a bunch. Screaming is against the rules. Oh, screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Um... Ah, you wish! Wrong! <clears throat> the quiz continues. I'm gonna cry some more. <laughs> Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Ooh, uh, that's called Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! Uh, I'm gonna... You sparing. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Um, ooh, oh! Alphys is giving us a hint! Metal and magic! Too easy for you, huh? More sparing. Here's another easy one for you. Who trying? Oh my goodness, okay, uh... Um... D! Wonderful! 
I'm astounded, folks. Yeah, I'm really good at math, you know. Yes, yes, definitely. Don't count your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Hey. Correct, you're so lucky today. Hmm, it's definitely luck, yes. No, uh, pure skill, pure skill, I think. Let's play a memory game. What kind of monster is this? Uh, frog it. No, wait, what? Really? Oh, <laughs> I'm surprised you remember. Thanks, Elvis. Would you smooch a ghost? Um, the, with the numbers going up. What the heck? Heck yeah! <laughs> Correct answer. I love it. <clears throat> I uh, yes, I would smooch a ghost. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> of course that was easy for you! <laughs> I couldn't do this without Alphys. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Cutie Kitty, what's Mew Mew's favourite food? Oh, I know that one! And she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavoured and she's the only one who wants it! It's one of my favourite parts of the game! It's actually a very powerful message about friendship and, uh... Elphys, Elphys, Elphys! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Is that who? How? Who does that help Doctor Elvis have a crush on? Um, I want to say me. Undyne. See, Elvis. I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the notes of our, in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of a crush? 101%. Margin of error? 1%. So it's 102% then. <laughs> well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys' help, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but... This was just the pilot episode! Next up, more drama! More romance! More bloodshed! Until next time, darlings! Oh, where's he going? Whoa! <laughs> the muppet up away! Eh. Well, that was certainly something. It was, it was something, wasn't it? Don't uh, Elvis, you want to tell us anything? Uh, and that last question, he, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Supposed to? Um, the space behind a wall is only a few feet wide. Was he bricked in there waiting for me? It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait! <laughs> Let me give you my phone number. Well, then, maybe, if you need help, I could. Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait, wait a second, please. <laughs> What's she doing with my phone? Better not have deleted Toriel's number. I'd be really angry if she did. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. I'm, I'm going to the bathroom. Good way to get out of a social situation. Going to the bathroom. Nobody wants to stop anybody going to the bathroom. It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a computer. It's asking, accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. <sighs> Did she cheat on my puzzle in Snowden? It seems like the notes are something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or oh, a walkthrough to my life. Is this the... It's a bathroom sign, but Dr. Elf is only. <laughs> Yellow feet are uh, <laughs> tapping just behind the door. I don't want to look at that. What's through here then? Ooh. There's more stuff out there. I'll, I'll just finish in here first. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All of these books are labelled human history. You look inside a book. 
It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. It doesn't strike you as very accurate. <laughs> VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. Who here knows what a VHS is? They are all labelled human history. All of these books are labelled human history. <sighs> you look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. I don't think I've seen that one. <laughs> This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Oh, what's this last one then? More human history! And this one is... A hideous android! It's running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. Doesn't strike you as very accurate. What is this goo? Pink goo drips from this strange machine. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. Oh right, she hasn't done any work. <laughs> The wardrobe is full of dirty lab cloak coats and a single clean dress. <laughs> there are letters from many monsters here. Frogger, Snowy, Drogo. They're all unopened. Oh, what? She's got to read her mail at some point. There's a lamp with pink, uh, pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. <laughs> oh, Toby. It's a promotion poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Darling. Um, okay, so we can go through to Hotland through there. But what's this way? Oh, actually, I should probably save again, actually. I'm still filled with determination. Okay. Oh. -la -la. I am the river man Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter I love to ride in my boat Would you care to join me? I will. Yes, let's ride in the boat Where will we go today? Oh, let's go back to Snowden Off we go So what are we going to discover back in Snowden? Is it all going to be the same? Or will things have changed? Tra la la, why don't you sing with me? Tra la la. And away we go. Ooh, this is what this this bit was for. I'm again sometime, tra la la. <gasps> Yay, Snowden! I'm happy to be back. Let's see what's going on. How are Sands and, and uh. Papyrus, that's the name. Hmm. Actually, is Sandy going to be in his bedroom? Or is it still on fire and I just can't go in? The door is locked. Okay, that settles that then. Ah, actually, I wonder if we can go back and see what Undyne is up to. Do, 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 do. Now, how do I get to... Oh! Oh, is he going to tell me about Undyne, or...? There was something he was going to tell me, wasn't there? Hmm, I can't remember. Now, how do we get to Undyne's house from here? I've kind of forgotten. Was it...? Ah, it's here! Yes, okay. Is she home, is the important question. <gasps> Aha! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Uh, yes, I want to hang out! Okay! Stand behind me! Make sure to give her this! She loves these! I mean, does she? <laughs> Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am! <clears throat> and I brought a friend! <laughs> I... I don't think we've... Oh. Uh, uh, do, do, do. Why don't you two come in? Wowee! Here, and I'm... My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! <laughs> uh... Thanks! I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> She's got a huge drawer of them and they do nothing. 
So, are we ready to start? Oopsie doopy! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> That's not the bathroom! So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. No, I'm her friend. Then why are you here? <gasps> Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Really? How delightful! I accept. It's all fro frolic in the fields of friendship. Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne would be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? The Pyrus. Wait a second! Damn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you! Wahaha! <laughs> what a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties! I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. Foo, 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 foo. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Um, I just want to look at this sword first. Humans suck. The history and the rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Um, yeah? Yeah, I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs by herself. She's smart, huh? Yeah, she's very smart. Uh, making killer robots and all that. One time, Alphys, uh friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> why, would, why would you be... What? Who was this? In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food of home cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna tenderize this fish. Wow, 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 wow. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixes up my fridge so it heats the food it said. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! That seems kind of dangerous. What's back here? You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. Ooh. Sit down and progress. Well, yes, I've checked out everything in your room. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Well, it's going to be hot, whatever it is. Oh! It was a bit of everything. My goodness. All set. What would you like? Oh. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Uh, tea bag, blatantly correct choice. Chocolate, green cylinder. Soda, 
thickly yellowy liquid or sugar goes in tea. Uh, I'm going to go with a blatantly... Wait a minute. Fridge? I can pick more than drinks? Under... Yay! Are you... Hitting on me? Yeah. Hmm. Fine, okay, I'm gonna pick the sword instead then. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. In that case, the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Ooh, how do you get my tea then? Oh, she's putting it... Oh, proper kettle and everything. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Rosie isn't using fire magic, to be honest. <laughs> okay, it's all done. I do like a good cup of tea. If any of you like tea, tell me what kind you like. Because I like Yorkshire tea. Here you go. I'm going to have a nice sip of my tea. Careful, it's hot. Yeah, I have to wait like 15 minutes to drink my tea. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolute precious friend. <sighs> friend. You, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favourite kind. Actually, now I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! <laughs> sort of. I think you can call the king a weenie. <laughs> you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on the tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And then from then on, he trained me. But one day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I have never seen somebody more proud to get their butt kicked. <laughs> anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now, I'm the head of the Royal Guard. <clears throat> so I'm the one who gets the trained dogs to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Oh, that's really sweet. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can never let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak, but a blue attack. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him in the battle. He could rip into tiny little smiling shards. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Aww, that's so sweet. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? Uh, I'll get you some more. Ah, oh, yay, we made friends! Wait, wait a second. Papyrus, he's cooking lessons. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you're allowed to have it for him! Wait, what? Is this how you do cooking? That's right. Nothing has brought the Paris and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Afraid? We're going to be best friends. Oh my 
gosh, this voice is actually doing a number on my throat. I shouldn't have done how sad it is. Let's start with the sauce. <laughs> uh, envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them into dust with your fists. How will you pound? Um, well, obviously, I will spare them. <laughs> I spare everything. You pet the uh, vegetables with, in an affectionate manner. <laughs> oh my god! Stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done. Yeah! I'm glad she never actually managed to get a good hit on me. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... Yeah! <laughs> we'll add the noodles. For Meg noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. And they're the cheapest. Yeah! Just, just put them in the pot. How do you put them in the pot? Seriously. Oh, carefully. You don't want to spill water. You place the noodles one at a time. <laughs> they clank against the empty bottom. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Uh. Oh. Okay. I can. I can do this bit. Da da. Da da. Nya da. Nya. Let me do it. <laughs> Um, oh, 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 that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let's the, let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Oh, all the heat. All the heat. Um, I, I should probably stop there and die. No hotter, okay. More heat! Hotter! Damn it! Uh, I'm dying, I think there's more! There's more than enough! Wait, that's too... Explosions! <laughs> Wait, serious explosions? Ah! Man, I wonder if Papyrus sucks at cooking. Yeah, you suck at cooking too, I'm dying. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, Hmm. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we were not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated! My house is in shambles! I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guests anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. That's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Um, I will fake attack. You pretend to swing it undying with all your might. Oh no, I actually hit her. No! Wait, what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't foster any intent to hurt me, huh? Yeah. You know what? Ugh. I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Saccharine? Saccharine. Dick, but the way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you aren't some, just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. <laughs> just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he will probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall, fall down here. I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt her skull, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house.
Yeah, it's uh, oh, the house is crying. No. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again some other time. But, um, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with the Paris. So if you need me, drop me by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk dog too. Well, see you later, punk. I never got to see what was inside her bedroom, though. Sounds like only Fire lives here now. No, no that makes sense. It's a living what? <laughs> Well, wow, that was uh, rather dramatic, I think. So where do I go now then? I guess I should go back... Oh wait, no, hang on, this is not the right way. Back to Snowden! I should go see what those two are up to. Uh, la la la, care for a ride in the boat. Where will we go today? Snowden. Fast forward! Come again sometime, tra la la. I love it here in Snowden. Hey, punk, what's up? A shoe. A virus. How can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in Curilby's instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No! But I have standards! <laughs> standards. I'm so glad you and I are friends now! You two go together like pasta and burning. Yeah, that's probably why your pasta never tastes any good. <laughs> we haven't had a sand in a while. Where's he got to? Hmm. I wonder if he's just hanging out somewhere. And I guess we should probably move over back to the hot space. La la la, careful ride! Ride in the boat, yes. Where will we go today? Hotland! And we're off. Uh, why? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> well, everyone, I'll see you back in Hotland. Wait. The neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Ah, <gasps> the dog! Don't worry about it, it's the dog. Anyway, take care everyone, I'll see you in Hotland. Bye bye!